Hi, I'm here today to share a few of our app best practices for using Exploring Braille with Madeline and Ref with your young child with visual impairments. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, you can go to our website at sensorysun.org or search for it on the iTunes App Store for iPad. The next screen you see is the main menu page when you launch the app on your iPad. There are two activities, Teach Me and Let's Play. Next, let's discuss the app purpose and goals. The most important goal that we have for this app and your child is to introduce him or her to reading and writing the alphabet. Next is socialization. We've made this app fully accessible for children that have full sight across the spectrum to children without any light perception or any vision at all. Next is independence. We want to promote assistive technology and all that it can do to help your child be the most accessible and independent child that they can be. The app is best used with what is called a refreshable braille display and this will give your child the opportunity to input letters using a six dot keyboard as well as feel actual real tactile braille letters on the output. Next, let's look at what it takes to achieve these goals with your student. First and foremost, you actually have to use the app for it to be successful. Uh, set aside a time for your students to play with the app together, giving them the opportunity to see how users with different sight levels navigate the iPad. This will make it more fun for the children that are often excluded from different activities because of accessibility or because they're reading a different material. This app will help create a more inclusive classroom. Also, again, like I noted before, if you sync a refreshable Braille display to use for the keyboard input and real Braille output, that increases the usability 100 times over. This is very important in giving your child the most Braille exposure as you can. Next, the best way to do it and to keep on a schedule is to set one. And whether you're at home or school or both with your child, this will help you see the progress, see where you need to make some more practice, and so forth. How about scheduling at playtime each day, at least once a day, if not twice a day, for at least 20 minutes? This gives the child a chance to review the letters and then do some of the Let's Play games. If possible, if this is only at school, allow the child to take home the devices, hopefully the iPad and the Braille display, to share with family and friends. This will encourage the child and even help the family and siblings and all the friends learn Braille together. If your child does not have access to an iPad, this app, or a refreshable Braille display, then request the school obtain them. If you don't have luck with that, then I, I urge you to keep pushing. Um, there are also several organizations, often local and national, that can help you even borrow one for loan, or you can go to crowdfunding websites like GoFundMe.com or something like that to raise the funds yourself. If you still need help, please contact us. We're at www.sensorysun.org and we will help you find the resources you need to get your child the Braille display and iPad. And if it's just the app, hey, contact us and we'll do everything we can to send you a free promo code or whatever it takes to get this app in front of your child. Next up, let's just do a brief introduction and talk about introducing the app to your child. First, students with no prior Braille experience should be introduced to the Braille cell, which is the six dots, two columns, three rows, um, along with the app. Give the child time to explore the iPad using touch screen based gestures with voiceover on. You can easily turn on voiceover by triple clicking the home button three times, obviously three times, and then uh, you can swipe, double tap to move around the screen. 
You can also use this just extra exploration time to explore the refreshable brow display. And again, that kind of takes away the need for the touch screen gestures and puts it onto the brow display keyboard where you can navigate the iPad using it instead. So here is an image of an enlarged six braille, or sorry, six dot braille cell. Um, and you see the numbers, they go one, two, three, and then start back at the top, four, five, six, uh, for each braille dot. And each character, um, an often symbol, is introduced with each of these. If you need a little bit help on learning about voiceover or refreshable braille displays or even introducing the braille cell, uh, just contact us at www.sensorysound.org. And again, we'll send you some great resources. Uh, we already have some on our website, but if there's something specific you're looking for or have a specific question, feel free to contact us. Okay, so this is the Teach Me screen. So once you click on Teach Me from the main menu, you'll also see two more menus um, here, flashcards and alpha guide. And we'll use those in the next slide. So here's the plan. Uh, what you want to do first is introduce the alphabet from A to Z using the activity Alpha Guide. This will guide your child from A to Z, telling the letter name and the Braille dot configurations. You can either use with a refreshable Braille display, and if you don't have one, then supplement with Braille flashcards. It's an automated uh, program within the app, so it just goes through from A to Z, and it's just simple as that. Next is the Teach Me uh, flashcards, and this is similar to the Alpha Guide, but it allows your student to practice them at your own pace. You can go back and forth using the arrows between A to B all the way over to Z, and this gives you time to implement other strategies like um, supplementing with some 3D objects, maybe an apple for A, like we'll talk about later, or a block for B or a ball. And this can really help build comprehension. How fast will your child learn Braille? There's really no way to say. There are so many different uh, unique learning styles and levels for different children, depending on fine motor skills. Uh, my daughter learned to write the alphabet way before she learned to read it actually. So it's really up to you and your child. Um, I suggest the most Braille that you can put under their fingers and do it. Next is the Let's Play activities, reading and writing, and let's see how those work into our plan. So after reviewing the dot configurations using the writing, um, you can practice writing the letters A to Z. And it will give you nice, fun sounds. Um, the little girl Madeline tells the child what letter to write and um, as you go along in this activity you're earning bones for the dog rough which he gets at the end of course the most you can earn for him is 26 and that will make him one happy puppy so it's it's a fun environment for kids it's not just write the letter a write the letter b it's it's going on and making it a game Next is the Let's Play Reading activity, and once your child knows at least a couple of the letters, I say go for, you know, using this app, um, or this activity within the app. Uh, it, it narrows down finding the letter out of three choices, and instead of just giving your child what letter is this, and they have 26 choices to pick out, um, this is going to narrow it down. And one hint here is to turn over or excuse me, turn off voiceover speech, um, not voiceover completely, but voiceover speech. This way, it won't read out the answer. <laughs> if you don't have a refreshable brow display, again, supplement with uh, flashcards. And on the next slide, I'll show you uh, a, a free PDF template that you can download from our website that makes a cool little flip book uh, that you can use with alongside the app if you don't have the refreshable Braille display. So here it is. Uh, the first one is RHA, which coincides with the, the screen you see. So what you do here is print out 
the pages for the book, and then you're going to assemble them, or first add Braille, and then cut them out and assemble them to make a flip book. And this has our three choices in, across the top, and you can use them to turn to, to give the child an example of what's on the screen. You can also use them just alone with the reading activities and teach me um, as you go along. And I suggest putting them in order um, for it to be most effective. And again, you can download that on our resources page at sensorysun.org. Next, tips for progress. It's always hard to see your child doing so well and then hit a bump or just really have trouble getting started. So here are a few tips for making that progress. First, if your child's completely new to Braille, introduce the letter A first. Letter A is dot one and is the only dot. Um, it's really just a great anchor point. If you can get no other letters, A is the easiest. After you get A, then introduce B and C, which are just two dots and pretty similar. Um, so it's, it's a good starting point just to start with A, B, and C. You don't automatically have to teach in alphabetical order. A lot of classrooms teach different letters different weeks. Um, so that is up to you and the teacher. Next is you can keep track of the scores each for each activity at the end of the game you'll see which letters they got correct and which letters they got wrong. Um, this will help set goals through the week and really be able to see what your child knows. And even if your child is only learning a couple of letters, go ahead and explore the entire alphabet every day. Go through that Teach Me Alpha Guide activity and make sure that they're getting A to Z every day. But as far as child's progress and looking at what he or she knows, look at the letters that you're currently studying. If you're working on A, don't worry that your child's not getting letter Z. It's only natural, but they still need to know that there is a Z. Next, tips for comprehension. Not only does your child need to know how to write the letters, how to read the letters, but they know what, need to know what to do with them. Um, and what they're used for. So here are just a few ideas uh, to get you started. First, as I mentioned earlier, pull out some 3D objects to feel along with the flashcards. A for apple, B for ball, C for circle, you know, anything that you're working on or maybe a themed unit that week, um, it will go great. And we'll get some more lists up on the, I on the website for ideas of some objects that are, you can easily find around the household. Um, that will really make it a little bit more fun and you know, give that tactual exploration at the same time. Next, add Braille labels to items around your classroom and the home. That means you know, maybe you don't want Apple on everything, but put a label near the couch or carpet or desk or bed. Um, we can give you some hints on that as well. Next. Uh, kids love making up their own games. My daughter absolutely loves making up a game for everything, whether it's, you know, going to the store or reading or writing or math. We make games for everything. So try making up your own word games to lose, use along with the teaching activities. If you have any great ones, feel free to share them with us as well. So that's kind of just a brief introduction. If you still have some questions about the app, we know it's unique and we know Braille is new to you, Braille is new to your child, along with the assistive technology, and we want to help you, um, and whether it's your child or your student or the school, uh, we're here to help and we love your feedback as well. So don't hesitate to contact us anytime. Our website is www.sensorysun.org or here's my personal email address that you're welcome to contact me anytime with any specific questions or any general advice, um, I'd love to help. And last, and last but not least, we already want to thank all of the people that have downloaded the app. And we're proud to say that we're increasing Braille literacy now in seven countries around the globe. And if you're one of them, thanks. If you want to pass it along to some other people you know, that's wonderful too. If you haven't downloaded the app, you're welcome to click here 
to download it now from the App Store or to learn more on our website at www.sensorysun.org.